Hello beautiful angels, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're just joining me now, then hi, my name is Imogen. I am so excited to be able to finally reveal the nursery. I know this is such an eagerly long awaited built up video and trust me, it's like, I don't even know what, basically she's obviously changed. So this was actually two rooms before. It was a bedroom, a single bedroom. Um, you could you could have fit a single bed in here and then a, but that's pro probably it. It was more of a study and an ensuite and we've combined them, joined them, I'll show you everything. One thing I do wanna say is yes we've changed it from when she was a baby so you will see a before and after and another after so stay tuned because I'm showing you exactly what it looks like now what it looked like when she was a baby very like in my tummy very early stages so yes it's been amazing this has been such an amazing journey to be able to have my little girl's room I love this room so much I'm so excited to be able to share it with you um it's not like super over the top or anything because we just wanted to be very very just, I just wanted it to be calming and simplistic and that's the vibe that we went for. But I love all nurseries, I think they're amazing. And I don't know what else I'm saying really. I'm gonna show you like the behind the scenes and all of the shopping for bits. So it's a really exciting video. So I really hope you enjoy it. So yes, let's cut back to when I was pregnant going shopping for all these bits. Love you angels. Beautiful angels, today's a really exciting day. I am just currently outside the shop where I'm gonna go and look for loads of bits for Baby Girls Nursery. I'm so excited. I'm just outside Newbie Kids. I've driven to, to North Chaley, I think, so it's about half an hour from Brighton. I'm so excited, it looks massive. So this is the showroom and I'm really excited. This is the first time I've gone shopping for anything for her nursery. So I'm so excited because I feel like this is like the journey now. And this is obviously the before and after video. So in this video, you're actually gonna get to see it. But I'm gonna get to look at beds and cribs and just yeah i'm so excited so i'll see you in there so here i am newbie kids it looks amazing i'm literally obsessed with everything already it smells so fresh and clean but look at everything oh look at these but basically the lovely lady amanda was just showing me this look at this angels look at this cot can you even cope with it so look she was going through all of it so it's a wood mini and low loft bed so it can convert from the first sleep, learning to sleep. So this can go lower. This part can go lower. This is from Oliver. And then they've got a little shortcut to get out. They need to get out. And then it comes becomes like a little single bed. And then you can turn it into a loft bed like this. I think it's stunning. How gorgeous is it? I'm going to show you around. But I'll wait until she explains a bit more. But look at all of it. It's just... It's such a beautiful place. I'm honestly so obsessed with it. Look, angels, look at all of this. Oh, this is getting me so excited now for her. Wow. We're just looking at bedding and all of the wallpaper bits. But look how stunning everything looks. So they do everything and it just, it just makes it so much easier and it's amazing. Oh. So we've been walking around looking at lots of different things and Amanda's been amazing just showing me everything. I mean, look at this light, I've got to show you this. So they've got little lights here and they've also got little changing mats which match everything. So you can match all of your bedding and all different bits, but that's a stunning changing table as well, isn't it? Because it's contained, but I've got to show you this. This light is so gorgeous. It's a little bunny, but these lights are amazing as well because when they get older, because they can just take them out with them if they wake up, obviously not when they're young, young, but you know, when they're older and they go to the toilet themselves and they're walking up and down, they can take this little light with them and just walk, but just everything is just, it's been amazing to come here because I feel like, I'm not the greatest with interiors and things like that. And also, I know there's so many things like you can go on Pinterest and stuff, but I find it really hard to put things together and just having Amanda here, she's just been amazing. She's literally made me feel like at least one room in the house is gonna look nice because I'm just not great, but like everything, look at these. I'm gonna show you these all gorgeous. Look at these gorgeous grow bags. I mean, they're so, so stunning everything and all of the muslins the extra large ones swaddles just i don't even know where to start it really is just so so beautiful we've been looking at patterns over here and like little gorgeous bits here we've been looking at patterns for maybe wallpapers or maybe some prints on the wall and these are all the bedding bits but it's just so gorgeous i love this one it's just honestly and look at all the jelly cats beautiful isn't it a really really beautiful shop i love it there's parking outside which is nice as well because look everything over here matches as well all of the other bits of bedding i just think it's amazing oh i've got to show you these as well let me show you these because on top of the um the changing tables she's got these gorgeous ones up here which all match the bedding can you see them all 
they are so stunning. I love it so much. It's just, it's just, yeah, a bit emotional because it's just so exciting. And it also feels like we're finally doing something. So Angels, I'm just gonna quickly put a before in and then I'm gonna show you how it looked when we had it completely ready before Renalia was even born. It's so crazy that she was in my tummy then. And I just wanna show you how we had it as very much a newborn and then I'll show you how it is now. I just feel like I can show you each room then. So basically it's the baby room and now it's more of a toddler room. So I love you guys and yeah, hope you enjoy this little before and after. So stay tuned because I will be showing what it looks like now, but I'm gonna show how it looked when she was a baby before she came along. Because obviously it's changed. It's changed from when she was a baby because there's different needs in here now. Like I don't need the nursing chair and things like that. So yeah. Show you both, both bits. So this room was actually two separate rooms that we've combined together. This was the first room. This is when we bought it originally, literally untouched. This is how we moved in. This was the first time we ever filmed in this room. It's a very small room. I'd say it's more like an office study. You could have a bed, bed in there, maybe a single with a wardrobe, but this is my husband back, back, back in the day. Oh, it's funny looking back at all this. It's so amazing to see how much has changed. And this was the ensuite that we've knocked through to create a bigger room. So this ensuite has now moved to our other bedroom, but we basically just closed this wall off. We took a tiny bit more and eked it out a little bit more, but this was the ensuite again, untouched. And this is the two rooms completely knocked through. So you can see exactly what we were working with spatially wise. Oh, it's so amazing to see it from the before. So that is her nursery inside there now. It's obviously the ensuite completely ripped apart and the little bedroom over on the left-hand side. It's amazing to see it all now. And then obviously this was when it had been plastered. I can't even believe I was so heavily pregnant. I was nine months pregnant when we still weren't in the house, but amazing to see the progress now. And this was the nursery before she came into the world. So obviously we've changed lots of it now because certain things have been moved around. I can't even believe, oh, that's the lampshade in that bed right now. But I just love that it's so neutral and sweet, but dainty and pretty. I love the angel wings rug on the floor. All of the furniture is amazing. It's from Oliver Furniture from Newbie Kids. I absolutely love the way we've made this room so spacious. It will be able to fit a double bed in now. So as she grows and gets older, whether we're still here in that time, but there is definitely gonna be size four and room for a double bed. I can't even believe they're so empty. You should see those drawers now. I don't even wanna show you them because they are, they should show, but it's nice to see them actually empty. Oh goodness, it's reminded me I probably need to fix up, look sharp. And then over here is my rocking nursing chair, which I used for quite a while actually as she got older, but we've now moved this out of this room because it was taking up space for all of her toy area that she now loves to play with. We've got this beautiful chest of drawers again from all of the furniture. Everything is from Newbie Kids. I love that little shelf. I think it's so sweet and she loves to point at things and make me get them down. And also what she's been loving lately is her old changing mats. So this is obviously it before. I obviously made all of the amazing drawers, very organized. They do not look like this now, but that's okay. As they get older, they just get bigger clothes. So everything actually just takes up more space. But I did actually label everything. And yeah, I was very good with that. I labeled all of the drawers so that they were very much in order. We had some space at one time. I can't even believe we had some space. So I just want to show you my lovely little area here. So we've got lots of little bits up here. This is like all of her nappy creams and ointments, um, coconut oil, etc. And up in here, that's like teething stuff. So teething toys and bits like that. So we've got, I mean, I can show you. I've got lots of different ones. I've also got some hand cream. I need to put some hand sanitizer in there. Yeah, so in this one, we've got more little bits there as well, like organic baby balm and just, you know, all of the other bits that you get for baby girl and her little bum and all the things like that. Got some nappies here, just as extras, big, big muslins. So these are massive muslins. They're the oversized ones. So they are can be swaddles, they can be blankets, they can be muslins, whatever you want. Um, then also, this is the cutest thing in the world. Look at this. This is where all the baby wipes are. How cute is that? You get the baby wipes out of there. So I went a bit crazy with this. I have absolutely gone crazy, but I've got to show you. Look at this. I'm so organized. It's gonna be literally stay organized for about two seconds and then it's gonna get destroyed, but it's fine. Baby wipes, I need to get some more dummies. Cotton wool pads. All of these are, oh, muslin cloths there. Need to stick that one on better. Then we've got bibs here. 
All of these drawers are soft clothes from Oliver and Newbie Kids are amazing. Newbie just have the nicest furniture. So then I've also got tiny baby muslins, newborn sleep suits, bibs and newborn vests. I'm obsessed with this furniture. I'm obsessed with everything. Like, honestly, look at this, how beautiful this is and everything just matches. Then I've got a lovely one here. This is gorgeous. These are gorgeous. Also the jelly cat up there. I'm just obsessed. That's stunning. Spencer's just downstairs having a nightmare. And this gorgeous baby girl, but I love this as well. Newbie got this as well, which is the amazing, lovely. I, I think that's stunning. I think it's such a nice shelf and you can maneuver the bits that you want. So I think it looks so nice and just really, really plain and neutral, but then also you add stuff to it. So then down here, we've got two months, two to four months trousers, two to four months vest leggings, I guess. <laughs> Nought to three months vests, not to three months sleep suits all along here. Nought to three months sets. So obviously they've got the bibs and the hats um, and then they've got the vests and the baby grows. And then We've got six to nine months sleep suits in there. So I've just got a range of ones in there. Six to nine months sets. So these are two pieces, flannels, which we love, and also socks. So I need to fold her socks a bit better than that. So then we go into my favorite wardrobe of all time. I mean, I'm, I'm obsessed with this furniture and I have organized. So I've got these lovely little bits here, which are newborn, naught to three months, six to nine months, etc. And these are just like gorgeous little pieces, which range in age. Look at this one. It's so, so, so cute. I actually can't cope. What else have we got? We've got little Robin ones, another Robin one little cardigans her uncle got her that from zara scott and then like you look at this one this is so cute she's just got such nice bits look at this i'm obsessed and look at this one and this is stunning look at that and then i've organized down here so i've got blankets in these and then i've got another um nappy caddy that needs to go downstairs but i need to add some bits into that and then also some more blankets back there so they just look nice, I think, in the wardrobe. And then I need to fill this one with something. I've got baths, so that's all the bath stuff. So that's lotions, that's bath, you know, um, bubble bath, etc. But obviously won't be using that for a long time because apparently you should just wash them in nothing. Also got like Neil's Yard ones, bath and baby shampoo. And then this one is towels. So all of her towels, all of her hooded towels, etc. I just love these pieces because I just think, oh, that one's a bit wonky. That's not aesthetic, is it, Imogen? Oh no. How am I getting down in there? Oh no. Okay, we'll flip her around. Anyway, whatever. Look how cute. And then down here, I've got sort of miscellaneous bits. So they're just like onesies and just swimming bits and two pieces. Her comforters and then hats and tights and then some little shoes. And then we go down here. And this is extra bits. So all of the cotton wool pads, um, some Medela stuff, uh, more nappies, uh, more nappies, um, baby wipes, more water wipes. Yeah, bits like that. And then over here, we have all of the linen. So all of the sleep stuff. So we've got big grow bags at the back, but they're too old for her at the moment. But I've got fitted sheets and I've got other bits for her to sleep in, you know, bigger grow bags, etc. And then this side, Wow, we have just bigger six to nine months bits. Um, you can maneuver these drawers. So we were gonna take this drawer out, but it's only for the big sleep suits. I don't really, the big like um, pram suits. I don't really mind having it like that because I like the space of the, the bits here. So these are all her swaddles. So she has all of her love to dream and Tommy Tippy swaddles here. And then she has bigger swaddle grow bags there and grow bags and then these are her carriers i think i'm going to move them and then also a nappy bag down there from cath kitson which is beautiful i'll show you it's got like a lovely drinks oh this is hard to show you but i'm gonna do it she's got like the lovely drink warmer and also a matching if i can show you changing mat so that's very cute but i'm obviously going to put more stuff in her wardrobe because you know we've got a lot of space here which is amazing plus on the side here which i think is so cute i need to get a little other one but these are little coat hooks so you can screw them back in and screw them down which i'm absolutely obsessed with this is my little area i'm absolutely obsessed with i am absolutely obsessed with this chair like i can't even explain it to you this chair is so ridiculously comfy it's got such a nice high back for nursing and it is just the perfect rock. I'm obsessed with it. When I sit in it, I'm just like, this is this is dreams. Right there over there, that's 
books in there at the moment. I'm trying to get a bookshelf, so I think we're going to sort that. But for the moment, this is what we've got. And then, ow, that was my foot, Imogen. <laughs> in here, I've got like nursing pads. I've got um, disposable ones and then I've got washable ones. I've got nipple cream just in this really gorgeous little Dutch. And then I've got this gorgeous light, which I'm absolutely obsessed with, which I need to show you in the night because it's just so stunning. And the lady who owns it, Amanda, actually said that her daughter, Flo has got one and she's kept it for the her whole life and I'm just obsessed with it and I think that it'll be something which she'll take to uni like Flo da, Flo's going to so I just think it's beautiful I just think it's so 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 cute so I've got this in here as well but obviously she's not going to sleep in this in this but she's going to be in this crib from six months plus but this actually I'm I can't even wait to show you but I'm just obsessed so I've got a lovely long muslin as well which matches and then these lovely ones so in here I've just got all of her um little bows if she wants a bow on her head, because I know that I didn't like things like that, so whether she's like her mum, but I'm so excited. And this is a reversible one as well. This is just gorgeous, I'm just obsessed. And also it matches these as well, her bedding, I'm obsessed. And I am gonna do a full breakdown in a second, but this is the room now. So obviously lots of things have changed, but we've still kept so many of the other things. We've added different baskets, we've added different storage furniture pieces. We wanted her to have a bit more of a toddler room so she's got all of her toys in there that aren't in her playroom. It just gives us an extra space that she's got her dishwasher, her kitchen, her fridge. Just I feel like it just needed to be a bit more spacious for her, that's why we took out the chair. This means that we have an alternative room for her to play in. She's got her books. She's got lots of cute little different added extras like the wall paintings. I just feel like we want to add more to this. We want to make sure that she's got lots of things to look at on the walls, even though I don't know about that because they might keep her awake because I know what my daughter's like. But she's got her little book corner and there's other things that we want to add into this, you know, specifically as she grows older. But for the moment, I feel like this is a nice space for her to be able to play with. It's a nice small space that she's still got to be able to move around in. And I just really feel so happy with this room. So we first start with this amazing Angel Wings rug. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It's machine washable, which I feel like ticks every single box because as you know, with kids, newbie kids actually pointed out, that would be a massive plus point. So I was so buzzing to know. But this gorgeous lamp, which we still haven't taken off the label on around the side. I think we need to take it out because we only just put it up. Um, we've got every piece of furniture, the main piece of furniture. So her gorgeous crib and her wardrobe and her chest of drawers I'll show you in a minute is from Oliver Furniture, again from newbie kids. Um, yeah, we've got cute little bits. I wanted a bit more things on the walls, but I feel like she's changing and developing and growing all the time. So yeah, as, as she's been growing, we've been changing little bits about it. Um, obviously we don't have the nursing chair in here anymore because I don't nurse her in the chair anymore, even though I am still nursing her, but just lots of things have changed in here. We started to get more toys in here. So she's got her little dishwasher here. She's got this gorgeous little basket that says her name on it. Um, I love the fact that around the side you can hang little bits on, you can put them back as well. But this is my favourite thing ever. You would have seen at the very beginning, this actually changes into a cot bed. So it can have like, oh, it's, it's amazing. It's actually amazing. So it grows with the child. I think it grows with them till they're like nine. So she's gonna have this bed, obviously not this bed, but you can make it so that one bit comes out. So when she eventually wants to get out sometimes, she can get herself out and play in her room. When yeah, we've already lowered that, it at the moment, haven't we? Yes, it so, was obviously up here. Yeah. Um, but these bits all come out and you can make it, I don't know how they do it, but I do know that it does. I'll put some bits on the screen of how it does it, but she can have like a, an actual bunk bed when she gets older, which is amazing. We hung this little thing, I put this above her, which says dream. I wanted to get a different color curtain. We were gonna get blinds, but we just rushed because we just wanted black out at the, at the time. And I just went really, really neutral vibes. Everything around here, she's got so many cute little personalized bits, which I absolutely love. Because why would you not when your name's so cool? Do you know what I mean? Then we go over to here. This is actually from Oh Baby, this furniture. Um, so yeah, she's got all these little bits here, which she doesn't actually pick out and play yet because I feel like she's not got used to them being there. But these all little personalized bits and then this matches this bit, this big one, which we've just been putting um, cuddly toys in. And this is actually from my beautiful uncle Ray. So we will always look after this bear because it's a little rainbow and our little rainbow, he's our ray of sunshine. Um, and he got this for her birthday and he could have chosen a different one, but he chose the rainbow one. 
She doesn't support Brian Hove though, I don't know who she supports, but you know. Whatever she wants. <laughs> she's got lots of animals and stuffed toys, and she's actually got the bear, the elephant in there that we got, and I'm gonna get emotional again, but it's got her heart beat in it. And she wouldn't play ball then, would she? But I've got lots of these boxes here, um, and I've got some underneath here because they're just good to store lots of bits and I love them and they slot her under and yeah that's I she's just got little bits here but we will alternate it so what we do is we just alternate everything um but I love this room I feel like this room and her playroom I just feel like are amazing so then we've got over here we did have that gorgeous nursing chair from newbie kids but we've actually changed it for the kitchen now because she doesn't need the nursing chair love her so much but she needs toys in here so what we've got is we've got this lovely i got this from jojo mama bebby um and my dad put these up these are little spice racks from ikea she's got her little renalia i need to put that in a better area but it doesn't matter and then she's got some of her books here these are more books like the alfie books so she's not reading yet but i feel like they're lovely and she loves stickers so we've got that um, and then here, I've still got my breast pads in here, but again, these are just brilliant for storage, for toys, for everything. Like in this little one here, she's got all of her little laundry washes and her spray bottles for the glass cleaner and stuff. <laughs> it's so cute. So put that one in there. And this is my favorite thing, which I've already showed you, this light, which I just am obsessed with. We need to push this a tiny bit over because she's got, she can access it, but I can't. But she's got her little washing machine at the side there. I got this one from Verba Day. Um, the reason I loved it was because it came with lots of different things. So it came with the little, I don't know, would you say that's milk, orange juice, the eggs. I got these eggs from Zara. But I love the fact that it's got ice that comes out of it. <laughs> that is so cute. And Renalia loves putting the ice in. So that's extra fun. Then I've already showed you this, but we are going to be moving this. I just wanted to leave it up for aesthetic purposes, really, um, because I am going to be putting some of her Christmas presents up here. So when she gets bits like, um, we'll drip feed those things, but she's got like a little post office, a little ice cream shop and things like that. I'll probably put them up here or in her wardrobe, then alternate them around and put them on the floor and play with her. Um, just because I feel like that's a really nice way of making sure that it stays out of way, but you can still see it. And if she wants it, she can point up here and we can get it for her, you know? Um, and yeah, I love this light. I absolutely love this light. So when she gets older, she can walk to the toilet with it. When she's older, obviously, and they want a little night light. It's so squidgy. It's amazing. Where's that one from, actually? Lywood, of course. Leewood or Lywood, they do the best things. Again, little things up here. The jelly cats, the rainbows, the lovely little storage bits here. We've got this as well from... We got this one. Where did we get this one from? Um, that one was from like Next or no, like Home Sense, uh, the range. Okay. Or B and M. There's so many items. Don't remember. Um, and then she's got this gorgeous hooded towel here, and we just went really simple with that's the. That's all of the furniture as well. Yeah, that's it? all of the furniture. It's just beautiful. It's so, so sturdy and gorgeous. And a little hooks on it. Yeah, but this was originally our ensuite. Yes. So our ensuite went to here. Mm -hmm. didn't it yeah and this was classified as a bedroom yeah, so for sort of like the edge of yeah. the door really and then across to this bit here yeah but then this area where you're signing now we'll swap mm -hmm. yeah. this area was classified when we bought it the door was here wasn't it uh yeah yes it was the door was here we wanted to make this so that when she does get older she can have a double bed here so a double bed does actually fit here she can still have a wardrobe she can still have a chest of drawers she can still have a desk yeah a desk yeah so this is a smaller double bedroom but, but that's not for a long time she's not having a double bed for a long time what age did you get a double bed actually i didn't get off for a very long time 13 i was my parents old yeah bed. i was like 14 or something 14 yeah, yeah. yeah something like that bed, so. yeah it was for my birthday so anyway i'm really sorry this has been such a long way it's because it's just been such a work in progress because I've been moving everything around all the time. And also, it's messy. It's babies, you know. Um, yeah, but I love this room. It'll stay like this for 0 0.5 seconds. Yeah. But that's reality, isn't yeah. it? And you know what's really funny? She will not play with her kitchen or mm -hmm. any of her toys unless they're clean. And she so makes like, it messy. And then she makes it messy. So I'm like, let's go play with your bedroom. And she knows it's messy. She's like, I'm bored in here. I'm absolutely bored in here. But... I love having the wooden toys out on display. Again, we just alternate everything. She loves her kitchen, doesn't she? She really does love her yeah. kitchen. She hasn't got that much into her fridge yet, but she does love her little washing machine as well. She likes lifting this up and putting the soap in. But we've got loads of space in this wardrobe. I won't show the wardrobes because they're nice inside, but they're not the... They are quite tidy. 
I've got lots of baskets, like storage baskets, like I had, mm -hmm. um, emptier now, but she's got all of her hanging bits, like her little cardigans and stuff, but it's not how I would love you to see it, if you know what I mean. And then there, that side's fine down here. Basically, what I need to do is put some of this stuff underneath the bed because it's sort of older stuff that we won't get out, or winter stuff. Seasonal. Yeah, and lighter sleep bags. So mm. what we'll do is put some of this stuff underneath the bed um, and then I can use that space as storage for her toys. I feel like with little ones, we're, I mean, we're very lucky and very grateful that we do have a playroom, but I feel like it's nice to just have different spaces. So if I can put some toys in here and then alternate them round, it's just, yeah, it's just really nice. I feel so tranquil in this room. I feel so relaxed. It is a lovely room. Everyone, yeah. everyone comments when yeah. they see it, like, what a lovely room. Yeah, it's so cosy and sweet and dainty and lovely and plain and not too much. And that's what we wanted to go with. I think all nurseries are amazing, but for us, it just was meant to be just quite sweet. And another thing, I will link everything in the description, by the way. So if you do want to go and check out like Newbie Kids, um, any of the other furniture pieces, Oh Baby, um, the Jojo Mama Baby kitchen, I think is sold out, but I'll let you know. But those spice wraps are brilliant. But yeah, everything in here, I just feel like complements each other. Mm. And yeah, I think it's amazing. So anyway, I'm really sorry it's been such a long, such a long wait, but I really hope you like her nursery. And I love you guys so much. To be fair, we've not walls down. We've changed this whole room so much. So the transformation of before and after for me is amazing. But anyway, I love you guys so much. Until next time, I'm going to love you. I'm going to leave you. Bye.